So let's talk about how to trace loads through the assembly to figure out which components need to be beefier than others. So just so you get your bearings, I'm gonna put the screenshot in isometric view like this, but this is the lower control arm, the tall knuckle and the upper control arm, and the direction of the travel of the vehicle is this way. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let's imagine the vehicle's traveling this way and we have a big bump that we're gonna go over. And the bump is gonna impart a load on the bottom of the wheel here. The first thing that's gonna happen is the wheel is going to wanna to travel back from its center before it wants to travel up. So that primary load is gonna go up through the wheel into the knuckle, then through the spherical bearing and laterally into the lower control arm. Now this green force here, the backwards force, is gonna to wanna to shift this entire assembly backwards. So you need a lot of meat back here because this part is going to be in compression, whereas this part, the front of the lower control arm, is going to be in tension. And the way to think about tension versus compression is imagine a suspension bridge. The bottom of the bridge is in compression and therefore it has to be really thick. Same with the pillars. There's a ton of force pointing down on the pillars. So if we have a load on the bridge, this part's gonna be in compression and these, these beams attached to the ground are gonna be in compression. Now, what's interesting about a suspension bridge? The top of a suspension bridge is all cables and they're helping support the load from all the rest of the parts of the bridge that are in compression. But look at the material difference here in thickness. These all have the same amount of forces acting on them. Each point here, this cable has the same amount of load as this entire portion of the bridge that it's helping suspend. But because all of these cables are in tension rather than compression, there's a lot less material needed. That's why steel wire braided is used on these because it doesn't stretch very far. Whereas if you try to stand that piece of steel up, it would just be a spaghetti noodle.